on today's app. So then this one woman, she just started to unlock her bike. So I was like, you're, you're leaving? I'm coming in. Yeah. Then she puts on biking gloves and she puts the left on the right. So she's to take them off. I actually thought that this was a joke and I was like, she's kidding. Then she gets all ready. She puts her headphones in. She puts on her podcast. She puts her phone in her fanny pack. I'm like, babe, you didn't scan the car, the thing. <gasps> so she unzips the fanny pack. Takes it back out. Then she goes and I literally go, Jesus fucking Christ. <gasps> okay. No. No. Stopping you right there. <laughs> that is, you can't start w- at 60 with her. You can't say that. No, not to her. Not to her. Oh. Not to her. (laughs) Hey, guys. This is Liddy and Chitty in in the the Big Bad City, a podcast by New Yorkers for everyone. I'm Chloe. I'm Em. And that's all you need to know. Let's get started. Okay. Are we rocking and rolling? Good morning. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. It's not even you guys. We fooled you. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. Don't. Seriously, there's so many lies out there. And Emily's I think liar. I am realizing in this moment I wore these pants like two episodes ago. Hey, but am. you know what? It's called good branding. Okay? It's called good branding. Number one. You number two. You see those pants, you go, that's Emily. She's dressed by porch vines. It's a podcast. <laughs> it's supposed to be listened to. But they're lucky. Oh, what? Huh? Oh, oh, look, they're not supposed to see my outfit? Yeah. No, I'm team watch. I think if you watch this, you get more out of it. I don't it. know if everyone knows that they can watch this, actually, to I be think honest. They do. No. Because we've always got those clips coming out, right? Yeah, but some people don't know. So you guys were also on YouTube. We are. We are. Some things never change. <laughs> are you upset by that? No, but it's funny because I'm so I'm filming my show. Yes. Hello? Has it come out yet? No, it won't have come out for a while, but I will have filmed it by the time you hear this. That's crazy. Oh my god, do you have a message for Future M? I hope it went well. Of but, course it by did. By the time we're recording this, I haven't filmed it yet. But I was going to say, I was thinking about it and how uh, my special will probably wind up going on YouTube. Yeah. And um, it's funny how like in the special, I'm in the show, I, you know, it starts by talking about my history of like being a posting covers on YouTube when I was a teen. And yeah. I'm like, I'm ultimately still doing the same thing. Totally. I'm like, I'm totally. going to put this on YouTube. <laughs> Is that why you like, yeah, you're like, YouTube. I was like, fuck, I, some things never effing change. And like your whole thing is like, it's going to live on there forever. And like, yeah, there and you have it. But this is something for you to be really, really proud of. This is yeah. a huge accomplishment. And I love your show. Thanks, Chloe. Thank you. You're welcome, Emily. I'm, uh, I'm so averse to pride. So I will uh, take that compliment and move TF on. What's going on with you, girl? Dude, I, I feel haven't like seen I'm, you in a minute. We're I, still in the I only see you when we record part of our lives. We're still coworkers. We're still coworkers. But I'm, once I move and once this taping is done, I'm sure I'll see. Are you going to see me on I'm my birthday? Here, of course. I won't miss your birthday. Really? Yes. Because yesterday I was kind of thinking, I was like, I know you're moving two days before. Like, are you going to spend a, the Chloe extravaganza with Emily? No, I've responded on Party Full. Perfect. Shout out to Party Full. Shout the I'm fuck like, out. Some people don't like it, but I'm like, in this day and age, please set me up with totally. automated texts. Totally. Reminding me of the thing I committed to. It's tomorrow. Chloe's birthday picnic is coming up this weekend. Thank you. Thank you. And also, it's like, sometimes that's all it takes for me to go like, I'm going to go. Yeah. I'm going to go. It's the because fifth I reminder. responded on Party Full. It's the fifth reminder that really gets you. Yeah. And it's like... Signed, sealed, delivered to the, the two people I have to thank, okay, are Scrub Daddy and the inventor of Party Full. Because I'm like, you have changed my life in spades, and I hope you get that Shark Tank bonus reaping the rewards residuals because that has changed my life. I fucking love when you get jazzed like this, Adam. Uh, I just Scrub love a good invention. Daddy. Scrub Daddy. Magic Eraser. Have you ever used a Scrub Daddy? Go. <laughs> and then you go back to a regular sponge and you're like, okay, it's a sock. Yeah, I, I was washing my dishes with a sock. And you heard it here. We're canceling regulars. And we're, we're going to scrub regular daddies. sponges. Okay, scrub light or scr- scratchy light. What? What's the name of a sponge even? Sponge bright? It's a sponge, babe. Yeah, no, what, what's it called in the plastic wrap? Like scrub right? I've no. See? Bad branding. Scrub daddy. And you know what? Cleaning what's- my dishes. Not for long, though. I'm getting a dishwasher in my new place. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. Listen to this, Adam. Tell me. Obsessed with scrub mommy. She has a bow. Nope. nope. Oh. Nope. She's half sock. What is the Wait, soft side what? of a sponge for? Wait. Scrub daddy's the exact same as scrub mommy. No, it's just not. Just with a bow. No, it's Where are you shopping? Scrub, scrub mommy daddy- is half hard half soft the other Kinda side like is soft you. yeah mm. no oh Chloe, not like it's not you. just a scrub You're daddy with hard. a bow i'm all hard i'm always hard what watch out 
Huh? It's okay. That reminded me so much of Austin. I know. A lot of what I do is Austin. <laughs> yeah, I know. Listen, Em. Tell me. Um, <laughs> I had the craziest Listen, thought last night. Fall? Thought. Thought. When I was laying down. Whoa! <laughs> I'm falling. When I was sleeping, I I couldn't sleep last night. So I was laying down, obviously, as one does, like, and I woke up, eyes open. And I was like, everyone that I know is probably sleeping right now. And that is so cute. Yeah. It's funny to think about people you know sleeping. Like, I was like, I wonder what Em's doing. Her eyes are shut. She's mad. Donald Trump, that's not cute. Just no. so you say, so you know that I'm not saying that's cute. But I was thinking like, even that son of a fucking bitch Sleeps. is laying down sleeping. I know. And, Easy and, target. Yeah. Dare I say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Charlie XCX sleeps, believe it or not. That girl uh, goes to bed at some point. Actually, um, I don't think she does. She does. She sleeps. Jojo Siwa sleeps. She's probably Taylor like- Swift sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo Siwa sleeps fully Yeah Fully like Fully that. in position Yeah she's ready to rock and scream Miley sleeps like Yeah Eyes open like that meme Yeah I fucking love Miley Cyrus So do I I, I I have no words She's just effortlessly cool And she it wins She's a forever star So um, you were thinking about How everyone else was sleeping And you're not Yeah and I was like That's so funny Like I feel like I haven't It ma- it kind of makes us more like Human to human More accessible you know I was I thought what I thought You were gonna say Yeah As please. a New York City girl I thought you were gonna say I'm sleeping right now And there's a bunch of people Stacked above me <laughs> sleeping <laughs> You know I do have that thought All the yeah, time Yeah like everyone's just laying Stack 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 yeah. stack Up into the take sky Take away all the walls And there's a skeleton of the building And we're all stacked to the gods Yeah take away our skin right now And we're just like yeah, we're just skeleton sitting. Yeah, I, I think about Ellie Ben's skeleton bit. all the time. Ben had that bit once at a, at a ben? hangout. Ben oh, Marshall. Ben Marshall from Please Don't Destroy. Mm-hmm. Our friend. Yeah, he has a bit where it's like every living room is, we're all just like. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Talking. Take away our skin and we're just bones. That's hilarious, actually. It is. You're laughing so hard. <laughs> I I'm literally crying. <laughs> I'm literally crying right now. Um, That's funny. I have so, so much more to say to you. Tell me. I'm ready, man. Dude, I fucking My life you. right now is so not leisure that I'm so ready to hear stuff else. Okay, so get this. My friend, when I went to the Aeros tour, I went with a few friends. Remember you guys went to the Aeros tour? You guys remember that? Mm-hmm. From that, from before? From when I went before? From before when I went yeah. to the Aeros tour? Here, can I just complain real quick? Before? You hate the Aeros tour. No, no, no. About the setup. If I want to take a sip, I got to go like this. <laughs> I totally know what you mean. Uh, and if how do not, I even get it? And if you're not watching, you have no idea. And that's yeah, why you that's should go to YouTube. On YouTube. My coffee is actually directly 180 I, behind me. What if I just hold it for you? The, the whole, whole episode? The, the whole time? time? The whole time? time? Yeah, no, the dude. whole time. No. <laughs> okay. I also have to do the same maneuver. We'll I'll figure put, it I'll out. I'll rest it on my knee. Rest assured. She'll forgive you. What? Rest assured. That's like a line from something. Sorry. It's from the dictionary. I'm not doing so, too great today. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Are you okay? I am. I'm just really stressed out, but I'm happy to be here. Do you know what, Em? Tell me. Really quick, before I tell you my crazy story. Okay. <laughs> that's going to take you for on a journey. Oh, we have company. Here she comes. Big mama. Mama Cass. Ellie's coming in. If you, Ladies and gentlemen, Mama Cass. Here she is. Stars running right above <laughs> you. Ellie at this hair length and size, that's what her voice <laughs> Kind of sounds like. I wish they hey, could- mom, can I go outside today? <laughs> no, Ellie, I have to be in my closet <laughs> Shut and up. record my podcast. <laughs> you won't see the light of day. I'm already falling into bad habits with Stella. I'm like, sorry, Stella, not today. I got shit to do. Wait, honestly, it's so good. Like, I'm in my closet like 99% of the day. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny like, that this like is a closet. You're like, oh, wait, and you know what's so interesting about that? Tell me. I mean, and I will. And you guys are going to think, when I tell you the story, you're going to be like, that is so interesting. Yeah. When I was younger and we, I lived in Florida for six months in Longboat Key while we were doing our flat in London. I forget things about your life. Yeah. And then, I, and then when I'm reminded, I'm like, you're crazy. Life. You're so crazy. So I was living, we had a place in Longboat Key. Love Longboat Key. Longboat Key's great. And St. Armand Circle. St. Armand Circle, come on. Not a lot of people know that. Yeah. Shout out. Shout if out. We have any listeners in St. Armand Circle. Wings. You know Wings? Nope. Wings is like the store where you get towels and yeah. bathing suits. Mm-hmm. And like Tommy Bahama. It's all Tommy Bahama, man. Okay, continue. Okay. Um, my parents had like a walk-in closet in their room. They decided to make it my bedroom. Instead of making the second bedroom my bedroom, 
they made the so you were like attached closet. To so them? i was attached to them that's cute. and they just painted the walls to make them look like cute so like there was I had no a little, window no window in my room but i didn't like hang out in my room ever right you just kind of slept there huh yeah because i was like playing in the play areas yeah yeah that i call life yeah ah. the beach making friends anyway with Steve. Make, that's exactly what i met steve yeah my best friend i know i love that story um okay so when i went to the heiress tour mm-hmm. um my friend michael he had long you don't like <laughs> that i'm looking at you i got nervous you went away when i started I really completely looking went at away you. because i was trying to think of what the is word. that why do you not like when i look at you deeply i don't know because sometimes when you look at me deeply it's like you're like i'm just seeing you and you get so deep and sometimes i'm like just, and what's wrong if i see you <laughs> You know what? Why do you not want me you know to what? see Lay you? Lay your eyes on me. I am. I'm feasting my eyes on you. You're a beautiful girl. Oh, I am. You want to be in the room and I give birth? Let me feast my eyes feast, on you. Feast, feast, feast. Before we recorded, Chloe said, snack. I'm going to be in the room when you give birth, right? And I was like, probably not. No. What? Perhaps. Maybe. Will I be at the hospital? Yes. For sure. Or at my apartment waiting, you know? Okay, so at the air store, speech your at friend your Michael... Birth? <laughs> no. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll do it. At my birth for who? Who are you performing for? You the and doctors? Sweetie, the doctors. The doctors. Yeah. The doctors. You know I love doctors. You're going to be like, okay, so I went to Bonbon. Bon. <laughs> no, what? that's not what you would say. And that's proof that we're not hanging out enough because that's what I thought you'd say. Yeah, like that. I would never start my set with that. And I'm just not my well tight, today. My so tight end does not start with I went to Bonbon. Bon. I went to Bonbon. Bon. It's more like. I was walking Ellie. No, it doesn't start with that either because that no. doesn't happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come I on, Nicole. Come on, Nicole. Come on. Don't give her that. Okay. So my friend had COVID before he went to the Aeros tour. Don't worry. He tested Negi before he flew. Okay. And he- yeah, Careful with that little yeah, nickname. He, what of, of negative. He tested what? Negi? Yeah. Just get a little careful there. What? Make sure you're fully present when you, I don't know, very, very close to a slur. But not- that's how much I wasn't saying the slur because I didn't even think of it. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, I was just I was more making a joke and I was like, just be careful. Okay, you can well easy, he tested easily slip. Negative. Okay. Okay. Nice. That's, that's Spanish. <laughs> I could have said negative. Yeah. It's not Spanish. Not as fun. Okay, anyway, but he had a side effect and it lasted a week. And it was hiccups. Really? <laughs> yeah. He had hiccups for a week. And he couldn't sleep really well because he was hiccuping the whole time. How does he know it was from COVID and not from like... Because it was like a he um, took this the medication that you take. Clovenox. Yeah. Clovenox. And that was one of the side effects. That's what Donald Trump took. Yeah. Why do I love talking about Donald today? I don't know. You're like obsessed with him. <laughs> it's like I literally want to like talk about him all day. It's like I'm voting for him, but I'm not going to talk about him yeah. that much. You know what? I'm this kidding. is a really good time for us to say vote. Register to vote. And if you have a register- If anyone's going to tell you, it's going to be the girls who host this podcast. Yeah. Um, there was negative connotation with that. I'm fine with being someone who's like, <laughs> not archetypically someone who would tell you to vote. Archetypically. Archetypically. Yeah, exactly that. Oh, that was an inside joke from my childhood. With, that came out at 28. With yourself. No, with Sophia. Aww. Hey, Fee. Hey, Fee. Hey, Fee. Remember, um, okay. So the hiccups. So that's just a, crazy. A I just thought you would think that hiccups. was funny. That is kind of. Would funny. you rather have the hiccups forever or sneeze every twenty minutes? Sneezing is so fun. Sneeze. Dead ass. Not Dead for ass. me. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! It's like so, a party every time. Hiccups. I'm like, and I was walking. <laughs> it's like I'm dying every I time. I have it one friend. I'll name her now. Keneal. Yeah. I hate when she has the hiccups because she's like, Ugh. yeah. We've talked about this. When people have the hiccups, it's like go All home. All right. Next caller. Next caller. <sighs> So I'm moving, right? Right. And to I was Jersey. Thinking, ha, 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 ha. The West Village. And I was weird the rest of the episode. Yeah. So I signed that <laughs> I signed that <laughs> lease and it's like official, y'all. I'm moving. Congratulations, Thank my you. girl. Thank you. I'm very excited. And I was thinking, you know, I've been in my apartment for like five and a half years. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, how do I get how do I tell my like cleaners and like my foot massage place? Like I know. I don't want them to think <laughs> I found someone else. I want to be like, I'm moving. So it's not you, it's me. You're gonna like walk around your neighborhood like, I always knew this day would come. What's that from? Hannah Montana? Oh. Um, I I just feel as though <laughs> I owe them like uh, I'm moving, but then I feel like 
I'm going to ultimately be disappointed with their reaction. I just don't want them to think I've betrayed them. So here's the thing. How do you do that? How do you like I tell them good, goodbye? I don't know how you do that. That's like kind of like it feels a little with doormen too. Door women. Yeah, I was actually like, going to ask you. Yeah. It's really emotional. Like you, you raised me. Yeah. For that one year I was here. Yeah. You saw everything. Yeah. And now you won't see everything. Mm -hmm. So um, I. The doorman is a very intimate job. It's so intimate. You see people. You're, you're in people's like humble abode. Yeah. Kind of. You are pretty much. So yeah. I actually didn't say proper goodbyes because it kind of just happened. Mm -hmm. And I shipped something to them yesterday. So I went back to my building yesterday and nice. I said, hi, how is everyone? You yeah. Know? And then I was like, I need to write them a card and thank them each. And mm. then I saw Leo. Leo is my foot massager. Oh. And I was like, Leo, like, I love you. That's all yeah. he says to me. He mm -hmm. doesn't say, where have you been? He just says, I love, I love you. you. That's and sweet. I'm like, Leo, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Just down the road, babe. Just down the block. And you'll always, you'll always make time for your old friends. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I don't think I will. And I, I think probably I'll, won't I'll, like, go back immediately there. move on and not care. Totally. But uh, it did make me a little bit sad. I also thought, and this is something, I don't know if we'll actually do it, but I really want to like, and I know it won't happen. I really want to leave a note for like the next person who lives in my apartment. Mean. But I can't because like after I leave, they're going to like paint and clean it. And like, where am I going to put the note and be like, make sure this stays here. But I was thinking, I was like, should I mail it to the future to the, re to the apartment once I see it gets taken and be like, hey, I just wanted to know. That is so let you know, cute. Like, this is what happened when we lived here. Like I got engaged here. We got married while we were here. We like you know i don't know i grew up i kind of grew you up in my 20s dog. in this apartment and we loved it so much we had so many fun parties and made so many memories here and it was so good to us and i hope you enjoy it the way i think we that did. is so beautiful a letter to the future tenant yeah i just don't want to put i don't really want to put the return address on it. like i kind of want to like be like are you gonna name not anonymous you, but like are you gonna tell them like sweet about sweetie no because that then that's be, like that would be kind of cool like and my husband got on snl this uh, while we were in here yeah like, but then it feels like the whole letter was just to tell them that my husband's on <laughs> snl and like why not this morning it's in the sick. dog park or in the park when i was walking stella like now i'm starting to get friendly and here's another group who it's like do i tell them i'm moving you guys but i'm like starting to get in with the dog people at the park yeah. now and because of where I live, like I said, it's all middle-aged uh, yeah. Jewish women. And I also had that when I was dog parking. Right. Like, you got to be like, see ya. Yeah. But you're so close to where you used to live. But I guess it is. I you're not going to go there anymore. No, I'm not yeah. going to go to Madison Square Park. But I did run into Tina and her dog, Sid, yesterday. Cute. And she's like, where have you been? Where yeah. have you been? And you didn't tell her. Like, well, I moved. And I was like, I'm living my life, Tina. Yeah. And she was like, your dog looks fat. She said it? Yeah. Wow. All right, don't get so fucking excited. No, but like, it makes me feel less like an asshole if well, it's like I'm said, not the only she one. She was like, how many pounds? And I was like, 15. She's like, it's okay, Sid, 17. I'm like, that's not okay. Yeah, it's not okay. But so right. uh, I want to, uh, oh, I was in the dog, I was in the park this morning and this lady was, I was wearing a please don't destroy sweatshirt. So I was yeah. kind of asking for it, but also I'm like, no one up here. No one up you'd here, be right? surprised, Emily. But you'd be surprised. This woman goes, my daughter, I love those guys. My daughter, she's the favorite thing. Like, you know, the typical thing. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it's my husband's group. She's like, oh, that's so fun. And then it's funny because after people find that out, they start like doing bits to me. You know? Totally. <laughs> they start like being funny. <laughs> and I love it. I embrace it. And I like participate with them. Yeah, but you're like, um, you don't have to. But it is funny. Like they start to like be a little, they're like, and what's with when the dog does this? And yeah. I'm like, oh, God. Right. <laughs> you don't got to land a punchline with me. That's actually but like so cringy. I love it. It's not. I don't think it's cringy. I think it's funny. It's like, it's fun. They're like, oh, comedy. Yeah. Right. And then the guy next to her was like, what is it? New recycling group? I was like, no, please don't destroy. <laughs> he thought it was like a recycling that collective. That would be a really good. Like, please don't destroy our plastic. I like that. Yeah. They should collaborate with that. With recycling. Save the ocean. Save the ocean. Save the whales. Save the whales. Yeah. Um, anyway, what else is new with you, dude? I've, I've been like city biking like every second of every minute, getting a helmet. Getting a helmet. But I have to tell helmet. you about this bitch yesterday. Yesterday, when I, or two days ago when I was driving back from D.C. and I was dropping Sam off, there was a guy in, on 2nd Avenue, a bike guy pulled over, mouth full of blood. Mouth full of blood. Could it be just a nosebleed? Nope. Like mouth full of blood. Mouth. Mouth full of blood. <laughs> Nosebleed going into mouth coming out. No, it was like nothing above the mouth. It was just <laughs> teeth were all bloody, mouth full of blood. Okay. So like, something just happened. It is really dangerous. But yeah. I have to tell you about what this happened to me yesterday. And I actually was like, this has to be a prank. And so, you know, when you go. <laughs> so what's with the. Okay. Yeah. You know, um, like if you're in a rush to go somewhere and you go to a city bike station and there's only one 
thing open, like you got to take it. Part of the reason why I don't like this. It's system. a pain in the ass. Yeah, this is fuck the system. Yeah. Anyway, this girl, I tried to put my thing, my bike into the one open monitor. Mm -hmm. What? Whatever rack. It didn't work. So then this one woman, she just started to unlock her bike. So I was like, "You're you're leaving? I'm coming in." Yeah. She actually took maybe f three minutes getting ready to get on the bike. And three minutes actually is a long time for her to be like slowly gearing up. Yeah. So she first stands there. She helmets. She she looks at her helmet. She starts picking out hairs that are attached to her helmet. Did she know you wanted it? No. Oh. 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 But she was delusional. She was crazy woman. But if she. Well, I was standing there. So she, I didn't say anything, but she should know. Okay. Like I was right behind her bike, like like going like, like waiting. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> like like clearing my throat, not because I had something in there. Because you're trying to get her attention. Yeah. Like, but she didn't like we didn't interact, but mm -hmm. I was behind her. Mm -hmm. So she then she's picked like one then she puts on biking gloves and she puts the left on the right so she's to take them off. I actually thought that this was a joke and I was like, she's kidding. Then she gets all ready, she puts her headphones in, she puts on her podcast, she puts her phone in her fanny pack. I'm like, babe, you didn't scan the car the thing. <gasps> so she unzips the fanny pack. Takes it back out. Then she goes and I literally go. Jesus fucking Christ. <gasps> okay, no. no. Stopping you right there. <laughs> that is, you can't start w at 60 with her. You can't Wait, say that. She, no, not to her, not to her. Oh. Not to her. <laughs> I was like, geez. Like, when she went away, like I out loud said, Jesus fucking Christ. Like I was that aggravated. Yeah, it feels good doing that sometimes. I was that mad that I had to like out loud be like, that's a joke, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, and it almost made me discover I don't think I can do city bike anymore because of the the docking situation. Well, I'm glad you said that because I was considering it because John, John, I think I told you, made me put my bike in storage because we had two friends getting bike accidents this summer and he was like, you're not riding that thing anymore, toots. Yeah. And so but I put it in storage. you wear a helmet on. I do wear a helmet, yeah. But uh, we put it in storage. Also, it's like having a bike, there's no way to make a bike look cute in your apartment and like hit no me way. up if there is. But I- You, you, you might have a bike, uh, bike room in your building. I'm going to check if I do because we have a laundry room. So I'm like, maybe sometimes it's like, Diag. No, sometimes they just like use it as both. So I am going to check. Sometimes but they don't use it as both. Okay. A laundry mat as and your and Well, bikes. some of the apartments I went to look at that had laundry rooms and they showed me okay, the laundry room. I saw bikes in there. Like next door. In the same room as the <laughs> okay. washer dryers. Okay, I'm sorry. I've been wrong a lot lately and I'm like really upset about it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. It's okay. That's a frustrating feeling. Yeah, it is. I'm like, I'm like confidently saying things and then people are like, mm, no, like, like think before you speak kind of a thing yeah but never so right. we should have a podcast <laughs> so but there's there's no real way to make a bike look cute in your apartment which is kind of a bummer because i really do having a bike instead of city bike huge like it's like you can literally be door to door you can like yeah. ride it right out of your door, door lock it up la door door right outside of the place you're going to and like as long as you're not i mean i don't know because i i usually bike on the upper west side and i'm now moving downtown but like Daytime, you if you have a good lock, you don't really have to worry about someone stealing yeah. it. If you like lock it up and you're like in somewhere for an hour or whatever, yeah. Or if you're going to a friend's apartment, you can like bring it up into the apartment, like, like hallway you know, vibes. Yeah, or like if you don't do it at night, don't lock it outside at night. But like having a bike is huge. Totally. And I'm so bummed because the reason why I'm not going to get my bike out of storage is because it's just going to look so fuggo in my apartment. Totally. Like, Ugh, that's what's stopping me. City bike, I can't do. It's like heavy, unreliable. And like, unless you get an e-bike, you're you're sweating your balls off. I'm only e-bike. I don't do a regular bike. They're so heavy. Yeah, exactly. I'm so just a girl. You're just a girl. I can't. Um, but I was gonna say, say, saying Jesus Christ out loud after something bothers you. Yeah, I do think we need to bring back more like screaming energy into like adult lives, because you know, again, yes, I, I currently am on the Upper West Side. I, I'm constantly seeing screaming children. And I used to, when I saw screaming children, I would think, shut the fuck up. Yeah. You don't get it. It's not that bad. Yeah, it is but that bad. But now I'm like, let it out. Like, yeah. Yes. Like we need more of that as adults. I think a lot of anxiety and like social issues come from the fact that we are civilized once you grow up to yeah. like shut up and be quiet and act behaved. And a fun part of being in New York is you can kind of like act out and no one's going to say anything. Absolutely. So if this woman pissed you off and then she goes away and you go, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it feels good. Now, wherever you're going, they're not going to have to deal with the Jesus Christ that was sitting inside of Correct. you. You got Jesus Christ out of your body. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
now he's up in heaven where he belongs. Yeah. And you can go to your place and you've released that. It's actually, and that's so nice. It's re- it regulates your nervous system to like yeah. move things through. Yeah. And that's why I used to do the class all the time by Taryn Toomey because that's a place that's right. like a really, it's, it's, ah! yeah, it's a safe space that yeah. invites sound into the workout. <laughs> Wait, you're going to love this. So I, uh, my vocal coach, I think I mentioned last episode, she was yeah, like, she was hey girl, you, you got to step it up. And May I say, I did my show in D.C. Yeah. this past Wednesday, and I'm so sorry. Thank you to, if you're listening and you came, thank you so much. It was so bad. Really? <laughs> yeah. No, but they wouldn't have known. They wouldn't have known. I mean, here's the thing. I did <laughs> great. I would argue it was probably one of my best performances of that show. Okay. It was top three worst crowds I've ever had. <laughs> and I, it, it's not really their fault. I mean, the I will tell you this. was off. Yeah, I mean, stuff that gets a laugh every time was, like, bombing. And I was, like, I was, you know, the whole car ride home. And it's funny, last time I did DC, this happened, too. Sam and I drove home after. And you watched it? No, like, three out of the four hours we were on the phone with John, just, like, talking to him the whole car ride. And he was saying how a lot of comics will talk about how, like, the show right before taping it just goes terribly. Mm. And it's a thing that happens. Um, But it's funny, because I didn't feel that... I don't feel... Knock on wood, I don't I didn't feel bad about it, like yeah. material wise. I was like, I know this shit's funny. Yeah. I, this that was my literal 77th time doing it. I was like, this is I know the show. Wow. But it was so it was so funny how poorly it did. Like right. it, it was just not great. And um also it was a room for 270. I sold like 40 tickets. So, you know, that l- <laughs> it was an empty room. As soon as I start the show, it it opens pretty much with a song. Yeah. Right away, it, it it's not working. And Sam had said to me before the show, he was like, should I move the files off your drive onto the desktop in case the drive crashes? I was like, no, you, know, you don't need to do that. Drive crashed. And so oh, like, he's God. running it off the hard drive and he was like, one sec, Em. And I was like, cool, cool. Like start of the show, it's not working. I go into stand up because I'm like- You're panicked. I'm just like, well, what else am I? I'm not, I, I, you know what's funny? I didn't even feel- scared because it felt so like my mission of being there was I was like I'm here to rehearse this show yeah that's true but I start going into my new dog material and then like no it's working okay never mind great so when I was 15 you know like (laughs) starts off rocky then like the part of the show where I'm playing all the audition clips yeah the lights weren't working so I fully did it in the dark so like stuff was working (laughs) against me so hard during the show and it's like there was no room for it to be triumphant and great yeah but I what I was gonna say was my voice I even just felt so much better, like because of the training. And the thing I was getting to is she gave me a part two of my warm up. So I had this like 10 minute warm up I've been yeah. using that she gave me for Edinburgh two years ago. And at my last lesson, I said to her, I was like, uh, can I send that to you? And can you see if we need to update it? Like now that I'm like better than like, I was two we years need ago. need a refresh, mama. So she had sent me a new, a part two of the, like five extra minutes of warm up. Yeah. And I only first listened to it when we got to the venue and I was doing the warm up on stage during like our soundtrack, which you could argue is like the most annoying thing I could have done. Like these these venue technicians well, dealing with me on stage. La, 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 la. I'm sure they've like, had worse. Like <laughs> Maybe, but this venue was like a comedy club so where they, I was bringing like a musical music, show yeah, yeah, to. Yeah. So much so that the guy who runs the lights was like, uh, no one's ever asked us if we, they can change color. Like we were the first people to like use the equipment. Like it's a stand up room. Okay, interesting. So that was all happening, and I'm just on stage playing my warm up out loud of my phone, going like la 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 la, <laughs> like being that. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't. I was already feeling insecure about it, and then she added something to my warm up that I only heard in the moment because it was my first time. Oh listening. god. And it was like I can't do this. The the technique is. You have to act like you're sneezing okay? because it like opens up the top part of your head to like let the sound resonate there. Yeah. And I have to go, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Catherine, I can't. I can't. Out loud, I went, oh, I can't do that. Like, because I was so already embarrassed by these like day job, (laughs) unhappy to be here people listening to me going, la, 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 la. Well, it didn't like sound so that. bad, Em. It sounded like that was a good, like, but, sneeze. No, but having to be on that stage, and she, and she in the recording is like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I can't fucking do that. I, I, I got to draw the line there. 
And then it made me realize, okay, for the special, I am warming up in a fucking closet two yards, two blocks yeah, like away. Yeah, by yourself. Where no one can hear me because it is so humbling to have to do that and know people are listening to you. But ultimately, it's it does really, really it work that doing... Yeah! And it kind of like gets it out of your system. Like I was, I brought that up to recommend to people at home. Yeah. I don't like it either. You know, like it gets it out. It like, sounds really nice yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, and it like opens up the top of your it. head. Like you two can try you it. You at home. I dare you right now, wherever you are. You go, yeah. Yeah. And isn't that what you do in the class? Yeah. You pretty much do that. It's like you're working out and you're like, when you like get jump around, you're like screaming and people yeah. are like moaning. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 But I will say yeah. it did open up. Like, I think I've told, spoke about this before. And I told you like when I used to go on runs mm -hmm. and I get really tired and mm -hmm. I'd like be like, ah, like yeah. I would do that loud and yeah. like, no, like I'm so fast. I'm really past you. Like yeah, no one's yeah. going to say anything. You like hate that it's happening. Yeah. I have a friend who this cracks me up so hard. She hated the she lived like seven blocks from where she worked okay and in the winter oh my god i'm obsessed at night, with this she would run home from work not for her safety not because she was cold because she just wanted to get it over with <laughs> i think that is so unreal like she she was like i hate that i have to get i have seven blocks till i'm home like she wanted so she to would home. run home like i hate this part <laughs> so fucking so good funny to me. i like, love that i just want to be home yeah yeah. That is really funny. That is really uh, funny. Thank you. Okay, I noticed that I do this thing and it's actually a secret, so I don't really feel like comfortable sharing, but I'm going to do my best. Okay. Yeah. So you know how I like pee on toilet seats all, all around the city? Mm hmm So I noticed that I do this thing. Like if I get to a restaurant and I need to wash my hands, I'll go and I'll wash my hands. And then I'll be like, oh, I should pee now. And then I'll pee, but I'll... And then you don't the, wash your hands? The hand washing I'm thinking is holding me over from that pee. Yeah, I get that. Um, like, that sometimes, happens to me a lot. Yeah, I, I still will wash my hands a second time. I know it feels like... Because you're like, well, I don't want to pee first because I'm dirty and I don't want to wipe my hoo with my dirt. Yeah, but that wasn't really... I, I wasn't even thinking of my hoo in that scenario. Oh, so then why not just pee and then wash your hands? Because you're going with the intention of washing. Yeah, and then, and then like, oh, as I, might as I well washed pee. my hands, I was like, oh, I'm here. I'm, I'm going to pee, but and then my you hands don't are wash clean after. already. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm a hand washer. Like, even in the privacy of my own home when I know no one's looking, if I, like, wash my hands and then I pee, I will, again, wash with no one looking. But you also... And then my hand towel gets so wet. And I'm like, ugh, when will this ever be dry? <laughs> yeah, because you're just I gonna, have a perpetually wet hand towel in my bathroom. You're going to continue to cycle. Because I'm always washing those Always those be little, washing those The grubbies. workers. My little workers. They do so much for me. Oh, I got to respect do. them. Keep, keep, keep them clean. You're so right, sister. You know? Wait, Sometimes I think about... When I get a foot rub, I'm like... I have to thank my feet. That's another they really important keep thing. keep me up. And and they don't have to. Yeah, after workouts, when you're like, when you're like, namaste to your body. Yeah. Thanks for working for me. The dogs work and they got to get their what? own reward. I washed my feet last night at Equinox for like the first time in a long time. I haven't washed time. my feet in a long time. Wait, but um, also speaking of this, something that really disturbs me that um, I've always noticed moving in with a boy. Let me know. I have always noticed <laughs> the one time you did it. I did it once. Wait, I have gone to boys' apartments and I've had sleepovers before. Ollie, I know I'm a slut, okay. eh. but I um, eh. have noticed that they have baby wipes. A lot of boys have baby wipes in their bathroom, and that really disturbs me. And Ollie has For baby wipes. Their ass? Yeah, that really disturbs me. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> I am so anti-wipe. I mean, you said, what do you think to a girl who uses a bidet? And I used to have a discount code because I would talk about how much I use my bidet. I know. Wipes are the nastiest fucking thing. Wait, but I don't know if that's... Hold <sighs> on. I'm like nauseous thinking about them. Okay, that's so And valid. like, Nicole, you use them or something? Do you? <laughs> In the summer, a million percent. I like If it's a year-round thing, I don't know. But if I'm like... Don't I sweat a lot if I'm feeling like gross and stinky and I'm on the go. I'm like, I need a little wipe moment. Oh, but yeah. that's different than like your coochie. You, you, the purpose of the wipe is for post number two. Do you do? No, it. I, that's different. Mostly during it, I, whatever no, your period wipe is, is number three. Sometimes I need like <laughs> yeah. a little refresh or like if I'm sweaty. Wow. So for a dude, like balls and asshole sweat. Yeah. Yes. Right. Poop. No. <laughs> How bad is it that you Wait, need a wipe? That's I need what, to, that is why I when I see well, wipes on the bedside. Hey, I mean, wipes sometimes on, it's wipes, bad. I was going to say wipes on the bedside table. I meant wipes in the bathroom. When I see them, I'm like, what? You don't know how to freaking wipe? 
No, because you're different, Chloe. You're cut from some bizarre ass alien cloth where like you <laughs> oh it's white every time you wipe. And like I do no a clean one wipe. Needs- I do a one wipe clean. That's like sick. That's really like awesome. sick. In a good way? In both ways. Of like that's sick. Yeah, I'm a one life kind of bitch. I've never ever like actually the other day I had a I had I went, that's awesome. <laughs> it, it is so yeah, no. It's so once in a blue moon. Well, it was also awesome because it was before a red room and I was like, fuck yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. But like <laughs> I I can't believe it. I don't even want to talk about this because it's so nasty, but Yeah, number three. Well, I was gonna say number three. That's brilliant. The period is number three. Like if someone's like, "What do you gotta do? Number one, or number two?" Like, no, number three. I gotta, gotta go. Do I gotta go. Switching. Dump her out. Rinse her off. Stick her back in. It's really good. Nicole. Cup. Cup life. Cup life. I don't do cup. But life. you know what? Tamp I've been life. using the cup, and I'm doing something wrong because it's leaking every time, and like I'm too lazy to figure it out. So I've kind of been going like diaper mode, like pads. Yeah, and I'm like about to get my period, and I'll just like wear a pad because like I work from home, and I'm like. Who's this for? Who's the cup for? Yeah. I'm home all day. Yeah. I'll just ble- free bleed. I free bleed. And sneeze and be like, Ugh. yeah, <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you know? mm. yeah, totally. I'm doing something wrong with the cup and I got long nails and sometimes like you strike it- the wrong spot and you're like, yeah, <laughs> and oh my you gotta God. get my hand hey, out hey. and I'm like, get me out of here. I just don't like that. I don't like the idea of the wipes. It just indicates to me you don't know how to wipe. Yeah. Well, the wipes are gross to me too, because first of all, you're not supposed to flush them. Okay, which I know stupid fucking boys Sometimes are probably stupid fucking flushing. You can them buy anyway. some that are flush safe. Boys are so fucking Dumb. stupid sometimes. Yeah. Because like I, the apartment we're moving into, it's a single adult man who lives there. And we went in the other day to take measurements because the, they didn't have a floor plan. First of all, he's got his like condom wrappers out on the nightstand. No. I'm like, get be original. Be original. Like no. you're such an archetype. Who like, use condoms anymore? Hey! Not you. Come on, girl. Um <laughs> But it's like, really? What condom. are we in a movie? What are you living in a movie? Throw these out and like, ew. He, he has had that when you went there? Yeah. Well, he didn't know I was coming. The guy knocked was like, super. You just and we walked went in. in. Yeah, it's like you're leaving. You've kind of handed over the keys vibes. I don't know. I don't care. I'm well, he nice. got laid last night. Like, good for him. I'm like, last night or last week? Because knowing him, it's been sitting there. You Ugh, know? Boys are yucko. so... So stupid and uncleanly. Like, and then I go in, I'm looking in the kitchen, I'm taking measurements of everything because I'm like, I, I got this time now and then, yeah. I'm, and then I'm here in the apartment with all my stuff. So I'm literally measuring everything. I'm opening the cabinets to see what I'm working with. I open the cabinet above the oven. This guy has his knife block up there. I'm like, are you out of your mind? Your knife block is out of his reach? His knife block is up in a cabinet. Up here, not even at like the arms at the eye level cabinet. It's in the one above the stove. <laughs> that this is prob- knife block. That's probably not the weirdest thing too. Like imagine what Rachel Coster's seeing. Well, yeah, I mean she's the queen of having t- taught us that boys live in the most bizarre ways. Filth. But and then he's got his skis in the middle of the living room, like just sitting there. He in the like went of the on a room. ski trip two years ago, and, and, he and hasn't they've been put sitting them back. there. Yeah. yeah, and then he's got a living room. Ch- like, I was just like, this apartment, and that's why sometimes when you go apartment hunting in new york you gotta be able to see past the current tenant it's really because, hard like another one we saw that we almost got was like they decorated only at like waist down i'm like you know you could put stuff up there <laughs> <laughs> you know like nothing was above maybe their waist it was no little- i met the tenant okay it wasn't a little person i met the tenant <laughs> i was like you got room all the way up there that's what ellie's apartment would look like it would only be like it would only this be there many feet inches yeah yeah but uh yeah this guy's knife block was up there and then he had his desk in his kitchen i was just like what are you doing i'm like, like so mad like, when I that condom like that. no wonder why it's a condom because you're having one night stands because you can't get a girlfriend because this is how you live yeah okay we're high-fiving out the fucking gang gang today at the same time I certainly need help. And I was thinking about this. I was like, when I move in to this place, yeah. I've enlisted my mother already. Yeah. Um, but I'm kind of actually, I'm curious what you think about this because I'm like, I'm like, oh, my mom will help me. But then I'm like, but my mom doesn't like know how I live anymore. Yeah, I don't think you're- So how much can she help me of like, no, I never use that. That's why you need I don't to have need a- that there. So when, when I moved, my mom was here, but also Vin was here. And Vin's right. really like uh, he's our age and he's really good with that kind of stuff. So he was like, like, this should go here yeah, because you use ease. it the most. Yeah. yeah. Whereas my mom was like, your steamer needs to be out. And I was like, if it's uh, well, for, in your case, I know John steams every yeah, second we keep of our every day. Out. Yeah. But like, I was like, mom, I haven't steamed my clothes in ever. So why do you have a steamer? Because like, you don't steam your clothes. No, you just go out wrinkled. I I don't really have wrinkles in my clothes. I'm perfect. 
No, I'm just kidding. What do you mean you don't have wrinkles in your clothes? Like, I'll like dry it in the dryer so it doesn't get. And then when you fold it and put it away, it just stays. I hang everything. I see. I'm looking at drawers. Those are pajamas. I don't have to. But yeah, even, any more questions? But even when you hang stuff, it still can get a little wrinkly I out of the dryer. I don't really wrinkle. You don't iron or steam your clothes? I don't know how. All right, you got me there. A steamer, you just... One thing about my dad, he was an ironer, and he could iron all my clothes, and I would go to his apartment But when you he was just said you have a steamer. I do, but I don't, I don't need to use it. Like, I don't use it. My mom was like, you need it right into your face every morning when you wake up. It's like, I don't... The first thing I notice... I will notice wrinkles on clothes right away. I do notice them too, but I don't like wear anything that like shows that. Like I'm wearing like a, a cardigan, like it's not wrinkly. Right, I'm, I'm not wearing that. A I cardigan. steamed these jeans before I came here. Like and the shirt. You want to know how lazy I am? What? If I saw if these were extremely wrinkled, I'd do throw you them. You just in wouldn't the wear wash. them. Well, that's because you have in unit. And, like pretend, pretend that they're dirty. What if you didn't have in unit? I would just throw them into my dirty laundry and like deal with it another day and hope like deal with wrinkles. I'm trying to change that about my life because I have habits like that where it's like I'll do it later and then I will never do it. Yeah. I'm really trying to like start answering texts right away. Like as soon as they come up, I'm answering now. Like that's really important. Take care I of it now because you. yeah, I really do let things just go and go and go and then I become rude. There was someone who sent us the sweetest email about our wedding. Like, thank you for inviting me. Like, they, like, sent a gift. Like, because like, ever, you, did you know you have a year to send a wedding gift? I didn't know that. No. Oh, my God. It's fine. I don't care. It's here. It's okay. <laughs> but people have been sending throughout the summer, like, gifts have been coming later. And this guy you sent us a care? gift. I thought you were going to be like, oh, my God, I still have it. And I was going to be like, it's fine. I don't care. Oh, okay. But you care about my gift. I guess so. How much can I? It still hasn't shown up. It's in the kitchen. Okay. So after this? Yeah. We should Live do it on, on the pod. Yeah, we no, should do a live no, gift unboxing. No. Why? Because it's it's You know, it everyone come. comments on the well then don't give it to me yet. Everyone comments on the gift your mom gave me for my shower, those martini glasses. Yeah, it's They're actually so cute. It was actually my gift I get, I got you, but she was feeling bad, so she put her name on it. But okay. I picked those out. They're pink. They're really cute. I really like them, these pink martini glasses. Anyway, uh uh, so someone sent this gift and sent like such a long email saying how beautiful the day was, how much it made them appreciate love, blah, blah. Yeah. John, my busy ass husband, as much as I can complain about busy, He's if busy. you should see his inbox. It's like, I'm like, how do you, how? Yeah. Answers like within the hour, a sweet response. And I'm like, and me, and he only the loser that I am, I still haven't answered the guy. And then I saw him in person last week and I was like, fuck me you gotta answer i'm the asshole i realized that last night like if you just deal with something immediately right in the moment we always talk about this it's so obvious it's like because then just... the anxiety just builds and builds like oh my god i haven't answered oh my god i haven't answered and then you do actually become a shittier person because people will always be like she never gets back to me or... well, but i kind of hate the culture i feel like so many people now myself included it's like sorry i missed this like oh my god sorry i forgot to answer oh my god sorry and that's so many of my conversations now. And like, everyone's like, I don't care because I'm the same way. But it's like, how about we all start changing that? Yeah, like, let's and become better. Because respect each other. I do think relationships have diminished because we, like, the, the regular decency has just dropped. Like, totally. everyone's mutual standards have dropped. And it's like, yeah. And then you start caring less. And then we all start caring less. And then what has meaning anymore? Huh? Yeah. I, like, went away, but I came back. And then you know? I ended with you. Yeah, it seems like nothing I'm has meaning I'm trying to pick anymore. my standards back up anyway. So I like that, Em. Do you have any new places you've been to? Um, I went to Eel Bar, which is the s same owner as Servos in Dime Square. Dime Square. Um, Eel Bar is like seafood, but also they have meatballs and fries. Mm-hmm. Lerve. Would I recommend seafood it? Seafood and meatballs yes. and fries. I'm usually averse to places like that. Would I'm sort I of like, pick one and do it great. Yeah, would I go again? No. no. Mm. Okay. The atmosphere was really cool. The girls working there were really cool. They had a lot of really fun, zero proof, like cool mocktail vibes. Mm -hmm. But it was it wasn't. It's stay. interesting. You said the girls working there were really cool. Does that influence your um, feeling of a place? The servers, like they just like I feel like they got it, and that makes you like happy to be here. If like the servers are cool, I'm I'm cool for being here. Um, not really. Like I'm now like, they're cool. Yes, I'm cool for being here like mm -hmm. that. But like, I definitely was like, okay, the whole, the energy of the vibe, they get it. Yeah. Like they were all dressed really, really nice and cool. Right. Cool. Cool. It's funny because- You would I, never notice that. No, I would never notice that one. Right. And two, um, but I'm the kind of person who's always like thinking about how the waiter thinks of me. 
mm. more than how I think of the waiter. Mm. I'm like, you hate this question. I know you hate this question. I'm trying to decide. You're like, okay? I'm yeah, to decide she's like, me. shut the fuck up and just ask me. Yeah, and then I think I'm aware by going like, I know. I'm the worst. But you're still doing but I'm, it. I'm really get it because I'm acknowledging that. But you shouldn't even. But I'm still doing the thing you hate. You just shouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Just maybe I should be it. like, what's your name? What's your name? Yeah. Before you fucking serve me, <laughs> what's your name? Although in America, they're usually like, hey, I'm Joseph. I'm going to be serving you because yeah. it means if you if there's a name associated, you tip better. If you're like, that's a person, not a right. server. But you know what I did? What I have noticed about servers is like whenever I've gone to an Australian place in New York, okay, they always have to have their like star Aussie, yeah, working there. You yeah. know, who like really puts on the accent. Yeah, they really they put it on. I can't do it. Can you do it? Yeah, but not right now. They're like, yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah, so I've got so, it. So yeah, so yeah. But all the Australian like <laughs> brekkie when it's like brekkie roll, brekkie roll. Now what's that? I can't do Australian. All ever. Australian cafes are like, just have this brekkie roll and the matcha. Yeah, the match. matcha, the matcha, brekkie rolls. I can't do it. I can normally. But do they always really have good to accent. have their like representative Aussie working yeah, there. That's like and in I'm a like, crop who found top. Who? It's crop Did top, and it's a boy or a girl. Right. They're all anyone who's working there is in a crop top always. I, yeah, I notice. Kind of. They're yeah, like yeah. hot. Yeah, yeah, and you can like, see like, their belly button. Yeah, you can always top. see their <laughs> belly button. Um, I went to a place recently with you that I loved, Sartianos. Love Sartianos, which is uh, the it used to be Mercer Kitchen, yeah, and now it's Sartianos, and that was a moment for me of like, whoa, been a while since I've been down here, yeah, because this is when did this become something else? Yeah, it was the not food- Mercer Kitchen, Mercer <laughs> Kitchen anymore. No, but the food was spectacular. The food was spectacular. I would recommend it over and, and over again. I actually want to go back because what happened to me was something that can happen when you go to a birthday dinner, which is oh, um. every single thing I wanted on the menu. We didn't order a single one and we only ordered what like everyone else wanted. And then we gave me one item and like everyone didn't really like that item. And I was like, I have to come back and order everything I want because yeah. I think I even named everything I wanted to you. And then we wound up doing a big group order and none of those things got picked. Yeah. So you think I'm the messenger? No. You're like, no. I named them all to you. No, no, you were next to me. I was like, ooh, the scallops yeah. look good. Ooh, I knew as pasta. you were saying them, I was like, in my head, I was like, this not gonna is happen. It's not going to happen. And who's going to tell her? It's going to have to be me because right. I'm the closest to you yeah. physically. I'm also just not a great person for those dinners where it's like, let's all share. I know because Let's we want a our lot own. And share. We want more. I always want more. I'm always gonna go right in and get my share. Yeah. And ultimately, if I'm ordering something, it's because I kind of want it all for myself. Yeah. I want it all. I did so. notice that we were being like very like dainty around when the food came. Like we were t- still, we were like finishing our conversations before we dug in. And not I, me. I went in with no. spoons. I said I'm getting my more than my fair share. I of got each one. when for the tomato salad. I was like, yeah. fuck you all. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting in. in. But see, I don't want to. I'm at dinner. Okay, I want to talk to you and and talk to everyone and have conversations. But if we're doing a big group order, yeah, I'm thinking about how much I'm getting, yeah. what I want. I'm thinking about the competition and yeah. I'm not focused fully on you guys. And if I get my own meal, I can be like, mm, you don't have to be on defense. Tell all me day. more about your trip you just took with the guy you're seeing. Yeah, you can't, you can let I don't your guard be on down offense, a little. Defense. I know it's hard. It's hard doing a group dent. Really hard. It is. But respect for people who like, don't care about food. Yeah, couldn't do yeah, Doesn't define who they are and how their day goes. That's certainly crazy. Anyway, this All was right. fun. This was really fun. Um, thanks for listening. As always, rate, review, subscribe. Right, 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 review, subscribe. Rate, review, subscribe. And um, love you, Claire. Love you, Em. Love you, Nicole. Love you, Nicole. Thanks for listening to Liddy and Shitty in the Big Bad City. Whether you were just cleaning your apartment, slaying at the gym, or strutting on these city streets, we're always grateful for your ears. Be sure to follow or subscribe, tell a friend, and hey, hey, leave a review. Lilas! What? Love you like a sister. Oh, cute. Lilas! Hey, it's shitty.